Today we will guide you through the steps for the proper liner installation in a number 3 TH micropulverizer mill housing. Prior to beginning, it is important that all safety precautions, including an electrical lockout, tagout, be followed, and that safety glasses and protective footwear are to be used at all times when performing service and maintenance on your micropulverizer. For demonstration purposes, these installation instructions are shown with the cover and liner detached from the mill body. These general steps can also be used for the installation of liners in other model micropulverizers. Pictured here is a stainless steel cover for a number 3 micropulverizer. The cover has had all the machining operations completed. Note, the cover has pre-drilled holes in 25 separate locations. These holes are used to secure in place the multiple deflector liner. The cover also has holes drilled for the mounting of the hinge assembly, cover stop plate, and air relief gates. Looking at the inside of the cover, you will notice that the inside surface is machined with a double radius. The secondary machined relief is there to provide space for the infeed of the material into the mill. Now let's look at the multiple deflector liner. You can see that this piece is machined with a specific profile. This profile is an important part of the design and allows for the effective impact and deflection of the powder in the hammer path. You can also see that the liner is rolled to the same specific radius as the cover and has holes pre-drilled to match the cover holes. The liner also has a secondary radius on the infeed entry side so that it coincides with the machined contour of the cover. It is important that the liner is installed in the correct orientation within the cover. The leading edge of the liner is machine tapered to 3 seconds of an inch thickness. The tapered side of the liner should be installed toward the infeed side of the cover. The liner is now manually positioned inside the cover. 25 inch and a quarter long quarter 20 flathead machine bolts are used to secure the liner in place. All of the bolts should be installed from the liner side through the cover. Quarter 20 hex nuts should be loosely threaded onto the securing bolts. Beginning at the center of the liner, the nuts should be tightened along the width of the cover. Then working toward the infeed side of the cover, the remaining nuts should be tightened in rows until all the nuts have been tightened to the proper torque. This process is to be repeated starting at the center and working toward the rear of the cover for the remaining bolts. The inch and a quarter long machine bolts are used to allow for variations in the liner radius. However, once the liner is completely tightened in position, it is suggested that the excess bolt threads be removed and the end of the bolts are to be peened to prevent them from loosening. The correct torque specification for the cover bolts is 65 inch pounds. When the cover has been correctly installed, the leading and trailing edges of the liner should be flush with the ends of the cover. In addition, the serrated edges of the multiple deflector liner should be facing towards the infeed entry side of the cover. Should you prefer, the mill cover can be provided with the liner factory installed for your convenience as a drop-in spare. Removal of the liner is simplified by shearing off the heads of the nuts by over tightening them with a pneumatic impact wrench. Once again, it is important that all safety precautions be followed as previously mentioned in this demonstration video.